Are you worried about how to choose gas springs for stretcher? Today, I'm here to explain the application of locking gas springs and their different end fittings. This gas spring end fitting is used to adjust the height of the steering wheel on off-road vehicles. End fitting is available in customized according to customer requirements. These end fittings are used for all types of medical stretchers. These end fittings are for wheelchairs and rehabilitation chairs. This is our locking gas spring. With different switching pressures to make. The locking gas spring can be designed in different sizes. These locking gas springs are products of our design. This locking gas spring is used in ambulance stretchers. and fitting post-installation product demo. This end fitting is for wheelchair. Press the end fitting to move the wire. We also make linear actuator and stainless steel gas struts. Let's introduce how to replace gas springs on stretcher. First, take off protective cover. Unscrew the screws with a spanner. After removing the screws, and take off old locking gas spring. Then replace new locking gas spring. After the replacement is completed, move up and down to check on the locking gas springs can be designed in different sizes for stretchers. The ambulance stretcher can be adjusted in height as required. Our locking gas springs are designed to provide optimal support and smooth movement, making them an essential part of stretchers used in a variety of healthcare facilities. And we have designed a variety of models for different types of stretchers. Light and easy contraction of the gas spring reduces the intensity of the user. We are GasDAC Gas Springs, cost-effective locking gas spring, 2 to 3 years quality guarantee, 20 days delivery. Welcome agents wholesalers to cooperate with us. Paramedics can easily transport patients to the ambulance. Contact us, open the URL and enter www.gastac.com. You can put your contact information in the website or sales at gastac.com and our professional sales team answers you immediately.